the guy want to blow earlier. Uh, We're on. We'll just start. We're starting. It's on. I wasn't really walking too nervous for the shots because as we're back at the world final, it's been a while. We're in front of Rocky Bowl Jack Harlow. You had a pretty sweet pandemic. I've been seeing it. I don't, a lot of people don't have a good pandemic, but you've invested it. Yeah. You were on some Lucha shows. Tell us about those. You're not on a lot of local Lucha shows. Tell us about that, like RGM promotions. Yeah. Um, well, I, uh, you know, I uh, showed up and got booked and uh, make the most out of every opportunity. And uh, yeah, throughout the pandemic, uh, it's it's been weird, you know, doing as many shows as I can while still trying to respect everything that's going on. But yeah, yeah. it was a, uh, it was a great pandemic in terms of how how everything went in terms of wrestling. You know? I was like, wrestling on big like Black Taurus, a lot of good na big names. Yeah. I saw your highlight video. Who put together that highlight video, which you find on Twitter? Yes. Who, uh, who, it was all me. Oh. All the all the uh, stuff that I post, videos and stuff, it's all, I edited it all, you know. Um, I saw that, and I shot Brad mess message, and then you were debuting for GCW. How was that? Just like, randomly, you're there in Vegas, debuting for GCW. Man, uh, it was awesome. It, it was surreal. You know, uh, GCW is one of those promotions that uh, you, you hear about even if you don't know wrestling, yeah. even if you aren't a wrestling fan. You know, GCW is one of those the crazy places that, that I've always wanted to be at. And um, it was really cool to, to debut there and to continue to wrestle there each, each and every time, you know. I, um, I could definitely do better on, in terms of winning, but uh, I'm glad to be there. I was to go in there with one of the faces to so Jimmy Lloyd. Yeah, I mean, well, being in there with Jimmy Lloyd, it, it it set a certain standard, you know. It set a fact that I can't come in uh, slouching, you know. Not, not that I ever would, but uh, it was it was impressive to see him move and and but I've studied him before, so that was that was a good thing because I he's been all over the place, so there was a lot of things that I could watch that I understood. I knew when he was going to go for shit. And, you know, uh, it was a little It was great night. You get down on Fight Speed also. Fight Speed, a lot of AC shows. How it is it to be in the show? And what's the order of that venue? Which a lot of great, great matches been there. It's a legendary venue now for GCW. Yeah, it's it's really cool. It's awesome. And especially to always see it on videos and then to be there in person. It's a totally different vibe. And uh, most people I've ever wrestled in front of, and it definitely set a certain uh, mentality that, that when you're in this place, when you're in this this location, you you cannot go unfocused. You cannot take a step back. You gotta move forward and you gotta be ready or else you're gonna get your fucking neck broken. And how is that homecoming crowd? How what's the mentality going to a scramble? What do you do? Put in moves and have to show off your abilities of like six minute scramble. Yeah. Tell us about the mentality going to those scramble fights. Man, going into the scramble, there, there's a lot to to be aware of. There, you got everyone running around. You got to find how you can you can stand out and how you can get this win when there's so many other aspects. There's so many other factors. Yeah. So to be at homecoming, you know, I shit. I probably didn't have a date coming to homecoming. I'm used to being learn trying to learn how to find my way through. So uh, yeah, it was cool. And I seen you, you were still in Mexico and you got all the ladies. I was like, how it is? So young going into Mexico wrestling. Man, it was cool. Um, I was able to drink a beer, so that was fun. Um, I was able to order it and buy it myself, so that was cool. Um, and the match, you know, it, it was it was really cool. And just the fact to be going international like that is, is something that only a few can say, and I don't take that lightly. And I also can't forget, you're texting you again. And most everyone wanted it. Once you debuted, it was like Ninja Mac, Ninja Mac. So how was it? And did it live up to the hype in your eyes? And how was that Texas crowd? It was lit on, on video. How was it being in the ring, though, that Texas crowd? Man, it, it was loud. You know, it was loud. It, it, uh, I was going in with Ninja Mac. You know, that was his, that's his hometown. I didn't expect them to, to be on my side, and they weren't. And uh, that's okay, and we'll move forward. And, uh, you know, the we'll run it back sometime, though. I know that. And you use shooting stars, like throwing stars. Yeah. Ooh, you grab throw oh, that is crazy. crazy. And also, let's talk about your debut at the Globe. Someone you faced for going against Tony Depp. And how is it? Let's talk about the Pacifica Young Lions Cup. Bring it down to GCW and PPG. How is that? Like, the honor. It's, it's great, man. I come from NorCal. You know, NorCal's got to represent when it can. And, um, and I'm glad to be one of those people who can do that, you know. And um, just 
shout out to like everyone from workout all there's amazing wrestlers there's all these people and a lot of people say that it's a black hole yeah. and it's not and it's not there there's people there who are good there's people there who should be here yeah it was put over on up on a ugly channel they just put out i called this match you and Titus Alexander, put over Titus Alexander, the San Jose champion, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, it, it, that was a good match. That was fun. It uh, it was exciting. My first time at Ugwa, and uh, you know, he he's a hard hitter. He's a hard hitter. That's that's what he is. He's a brawler, the son of Big Ugly. You know, yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna bring it. So uh, I might have lost that match, but um, I'll be back soon, probably. That was how even in high school. How, what do you learn from being in the ring with Deppin, who's been around so long? And also to get a reaction from Peter G, how people know you there. Yeah, that, that was really cool. That's the fun, cool thing. Because, I mean, I have an extra heart just because of the Lucha shows that I've done in SoCal that some people already knew me. Yeah. But um, wrestling with Deppin, I learned, like, I got to breathe. You got you to gotta breathe. You got to watch out at every single moment. You got to... You gotta know your surroundings for sure. You gotta be aware because you never know when a knee's gonna come flying at your face, and you never know when when you're you get hit down and you're not gonna be able to get back up until you you get ready. You know, until until your body's ready to get up. You know, mentally mentally you can be thinking, oh, like let let me get up, but your body's just saying no, <laughs> you're not ready. So that's that's something that Devin can throw at you and take out of you. And let's put over your school. You should have Supreme for wrestling and, Lucha, and at the Lucha School, Lucha Lucha Homies. Put over Lucha Homies and Sir Samurai, like put over to your trainers. Yeah, sir, dude, Sir Samurai is one of the best minds in this business that I've talked to so far. You know, every single, every single like time that I talk to him, it's just like talking to talking to like a wrestling genius. And I, I can't have enough great stuff to say about Sir Samurai. Same with Lil Cholo, like. Sweet, like the kindest dude, yeah. Yeah. always looking out for his people, always putting putting others first in front of him. And uh, Mariachi Loco always coming yeah. into practice with a good attitude and uh, just making sure that we're all learning and making sure that we're getting better every day. Let's put over your social media and we're buying merch and just put yourself over, man. Yeah, um, Jack Cartwheel. You know, you can uh, follow my Instagram and Twitter. They're both Jack Cartwheel. And on Facebook is Jack Hart Wright, and from Championship Wrestling from Hollywood, it's Jack Hart Wright. Uh, and yeah, man, it's, uh, it was a great time, man. Tonight, tonight was a special. Uh, Appreciate me on the show. Thank you, Jack Hart. We'll follow him. Sean Central, Peace.